Well, as the unemployment rate hits an 11-year high in South Africa, people are struggling to make ends meet. Despite President Cyril Ramaphosa's pledge of an economic turnaround, the current statistics portray a bleak future. Job cuts across a host of sectors are set to continue into the next few years. South Africa's unemployment rate jumped to its highest since the global financial crisis more than a decade ago. This has piled pressure on an already shrinking economy. Though the government provides grants, it's not enough for survival. It's month end and I have to be looking for specials. My little brothers get a sign, I have to go buy nappies, I have to look in specials, I have to buy, go buy food. I mean, I'm the only sort of breadwinner at the age of 30. Government-owned organizations are also facing huge losses, forcing them to lay off workers. President Cyril Ramaphosa has promised to create 100,000 new jobs, but analysts doubt he can do it. I think South Africa has been growing uh, structurally like a, a developed country. So the sectors that have been growing fast have been sectors like the finance sector, uh, construction sectors, and these sectors belong to the non-tradable sectors. So these are sectors that cannot be traded and we can't get revenues from them. So if Economists say the government needs to focus more on the agricultural sector. They warn the economy could deteriorate further if it's not prioritized. 